So first, I gave a brief introduction about uh, what is Planetum Atlas. So in fact, for Atlas, uh, there are a lot of studies. So based on different information, for example, uh, Ubrin and the Broadway Atlas based on the study architecture. But here, the Planetum um, Atlas is based on the connectivity profile, especially based on the anatomical connectivity profile. So <coughs> as you know, different uh, mm, mm, atlas based on different information, but uh, mm, if we just pass it to one brain regions, maybe we can go to the same result. So here we just uh, try to address uh, this kind of issue, so why? So use different technology, but we can go to the same result. So for example, uh, here I show you mm, one exa two examples. So for this kind of uh, areas so far, based on the start architecture, so cannot uh, pass it into um, sub-regions. So for example, we based on the uh, connectivity profile, because this uh, area is uh, with the homogeneous uh, start architecture. So this is very difficult uh, if we want to pass it uh, based on the start architecture. But uh, with the connectivity profile, um, functional connectivity or atomic connectivity, we can pass it into at least uh, three different parts. So, um, another very important thing is uh, for the um, connectivity, um, planet atlas based on the connectivity profile. Uh, besides that, uh, we can provide you um, finer uh, topography. We can also provide you the connectivity information, for example, the atomic connectivity or functional connectivity. So, another example is uh, for the front pole. So this is also with the uh, homogeneous uh, side architecture. So, so far, um, we cannot find uh, the passation based on the side architecture, but uh, we can also pass it uh, into di three different parts. So in fact, uh, we also, if some regions can pass it uh, with side architecture, also uh, with the connectivity profile, we find uh, all the result is the same. Here, just to show you one example for the broken areas. So if we can pass it uh, with two different information, so we find uh, the result uh, have a very good uh, correspondence. So now, we move to the core question in this lectures. So in fact, uh, we can pass it uh, one by regions with different uh, information. Uh, I mean, so for example, satellite architecture, connect atomical connectivity profile, and uh, some other information. So why? So th uh, we think uh, this is a kind of maybe interesting thing so for the um, cortical patterning. So then we try to um, address uh, this issue. So, but so with uh, another very different uh, technology, because uh, uh, some kind of twin studies. So th this uh, trace we, uh, strategies, we cannot use the connectivity provider. We cannot use the side architecture, but we just use the genetic correlation. So then we try to pass that to the same regions. So we find uh, use this kind of technology. We can also got uh, just uh, the same result, very similar. Which, at least uh, from the topographies. For example, here I just uh, show you four representative regions. Uh, this one this one, and this one, and this one. All these kind of regions have passed it based on the start architecture, uh, based on the connectivity profile. So all the result is the same. So more importantly, especially for primary um, motor cortex, they have a very good um, functional co correspondence. For example, here is the result based on just uh, co uh, genetic correlations. So the result is here. So we, we have a very good correspondence with the functions. So in fact, we, for to further uh, evaluate this, this uh, method, we also do the uh, correlation between the, um, the metrics got by the genetic correlation and also functional connectivity metrics. So these two metrics have a very good uh, uh, correlations. So from here, you will find so based on the different technology, we can go to the same result. So maybe this kind of things, especially for cortical pattern, is a kind of interesting thing. So if the technology is good, so you should find the same result. So now, in fact, for the plant matters, we pass out the whole brain, the cortex and the subcortex into 252 
different parts. Each part have a very good uh, biologic uh, me mechanism. So uh, in summary, for the brilliant matters, we have uh, three different uh, features. One, it is in vivo, and also it provides uh, more fine again in the topography, and also uh, we can provide you the functional connectivity and anatomic connectivity. So in fact, we also provide you with the software. So you, for more information, just uh, from here. So. So this is a, a software just show you how to use the brilliant atlas. So this is a summary for, for these this studies. So first I'll show you the genetic correlation of cortical surface areas obtained by the twin analysis that can be used to identify the function the functional subregions. And uh, the genetic correlation can also I revel the um, population-based uh, fundamental patterns of corticals and of uh, the interregion connectivity. And uh, it also, I think uh, this is also very important uh, for understanding of the genetic basis of cortical patterns and also provide uh, some kind of uh, validations for plenum atlas, maybe also some other atlas. So in fact, uh, this uh, study is, uh, was done by uh, uh, collaborated uh, between the different uh, institutions. Thank you. <laughs>